Okay, hi everybody. Um, the first main examples we looked at had the same number of equations as variables, um, but in lots of cases we might have more equations than variables or more variables than equations. And so if you have more equations than variables, then the system is called overdetermined, and we might we, uh, we'll see why in a, in a if we do some examples. So let's just start with an example. I'm going to do an example of three equations and two variables. Um, here's an example I came up with. Uh, 5x minus 2y equals 7. OK. Um, and you know we translate this into, this is a system. We translate it into an augmented matrix now. We don't want to just out of laziness, we don't want to write everything. Um, and I am not gonna go as painstakingly through all the steps. I'm just gonna show you. You should try to go through the steps to reduce this. Um, or I'll sh maybe this one I'll show you this. I'll give the steps. I may not tell you what the steps are, so I may just write down the um, the intermediate matrices. So I'm going to put question marks here that you should try to fill in yourself. So if I, you might be able to guess, for example, what am I doing in this first step? Um, I'm trying to force a one in the top left, right? Because that makes it easy to clear out the ones below. Um, and you can, so, but fill in that question mark of like, what, what, what did I actually do to to do that. And now if I clear it out, um, I claim I'm going to get the following. I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to clear these out. Again, there's a question mark here. There's actually two steps. I do something to the second row and to the third row. So you should try to write down um, what I'm doing to those rows. So Uh, these don't change. And then get 11 halves here, and this is seven still. Okay. Um, and then again, if I want to do something, <laughs> but notice I've cleared out the, uh, the whole point here was to clear this out. So I just, the only X coefficient now is is that, and I want to do something similar in this row. So if I do this, I get the next, uh, you can probably guess what we did there. So I basically wanted to put a one here, and now I want to clear this out. This is an 11, not a four, just to make sure. Um, now I want to clear out this one. And I'm actually going to go ahead and clear out that one too, that entry too, just to really get the final answer quickly. I mean, you could just turn this into a zero and you'd get, well, we can actually already see the value of y, right? Um, or actually what's going to happen. So actually I'm not even, sorry, ignore what I just said. Don't even worry about this. Let's just clear this out and see what happens. I was getting ahead of myself thinking of the next example I'm going to do. Um, So, okay, so if I make that a zero, again, what operation do I do to make that a zero? Um, that's a two. And then what happens here? This actually is a negative four. Okay, so at this point, something strange has happened. And this, we haven't seen this before, right? This is one reason I wanted to highlight this. If we turn these back into equations, right? I mean, this equation right here is just y equals two, that's fine. This equation is um, x minus three halves y equals zero. But what about this equation? <laughs> this says zero x plus zero y equals four. Or in other words, zero equals four. I don't know about you, but I don't think zero equals four. So that's bad, right? <laughs> and it actually shows that this equation, this system has no solutions. 
no solutions. Okay, and that's one reason I call something like this overdetermined, or not me, people call something like this overdetermined, is because when you have more equations and variables, you're actually, you know, probably not going to have solutions because it's, you know, it's almost like each equation is like a constraint on the variables. And once you have too many constraints, it's, it's, it's hard to make um, fine values that satisfy all of them simultaneously. Uh, so, and if you might think about what's the geometric interpretation, these, these equations here are all lines, right? They're all lines in the plane. And you're trying to intersect three lines. And you don't expect three lines to have a common intersection point. Right, so the geometric interpretation is that um, these three lines don't share a common point. Uh, let me write that better. These three. <laughs> And my handwriting got really bad. Let me try to write this again. Three lines don't share a common point. Okay, and so that's kind of, again, why you would expect this to not have solutions. It doesn't mean they can't have solutions. Um, uh, if I, in terms that I actually can actually change the example above to make the, all three lines go through the same point. Um, you might actually, before I even write this down, you might think what number, I'm going to change that number and it's going to make all through all the lines go through the common point. So you might think about, you might go back up here and try to retrace, you might pause the video, go back up here, try to retrace like in your notes, how I could have made this not be of. Oh, that should have been a minus four actually the whole time. Sorry. A minus four there and a minus four there. Um, how I could have made this be, um, well, how could make it have a solution. By the way, there's terminology. I'm not sure what I'm not using. So the terminology for this down here, no solutions, is inconsistent. We call a system inconsistent. It has no solutions and consistent if it does have solutions. So I guess my question is, how can you change this number and sort of backtrace it to get the number that you could actually put here <clears throat> to make the system consistent? <clears throat> so I might have you pause and think about that for a second. See if you can figure it out on your own. <clears throat> and then I'll tell you that the number is actually Drum roll, 11. If you go, if you do this, if you put an 11 there and go through the same steps, I claim that uh, if you row reduce all the way down, I claim it'll be like what we have up here, but We'll have zero, zero, and you'll have zero here. So in fact, having an, having an equation like zero x plus zero y equals zero is fine. It just means nothing. It just means <laughs> there's no problem. And from here, you can see y equals two, and then you can use that to get the value of x. Okay, and then, and if you draw these lines, they, I, I drew these lines to, and I figured out a common point that they would all go through. So, um, so this one is consistent. Uh, I think if you if you try it, this has the solution um, x equals three, y equals two, and the word that we use for that the system is consistent. So just because you have a more equation of variables doesn't mean the system has to be inconsistent, but um, note, I had to sort of pick this last number carefully to make it consistent. Um, you can even have infinitely many solutions. Uh, you might think about other possibilities. So like this was, this, this over here, this first example was 
three like three lines that don't share a common point. So it's like there's a line, there's a line, and there's a line. Down here, it was like, oh, okay, well, I actually made them have a common point. So that's the common solution. Um, you can have other situations just to think about. I mean, you could be kind of dumb here and say, well, I could have a situation. I could have the system x plus y equals 1, 2x plus 2y equals 2, and 3x plus 3y equals 3. And that's kind of silly, right? Like, <laughs> It's really just the same equation. I've just doubled and tripled it. And so in fact, I mean, the one thing to think about is what does the reduced form look like? I claim, and you should verify this, that in fact, you just need really to change the second and third row and you'll end up getting something like this. I claim that's what's gonna happen. Um, and yeah, and so in fact, this has infinitely many solutions because really it's the same line three times. If I want to think about it geometrically, it's the same line three times. Maybe I'll do times three there just to say it's the same line three times. And this has infinitely many solutions. And it's also consistent. Okay, so I just want to show you some of the different cases that can happen here. You might think about geometrically, I guess maybe just a final question is, um, what happens, can you come up with other scenarios besides, you know, we had this scenario up here, ge geometrically, we had this scenario with three lines not going to the same point, this scenario with three different lines going to the same point, this scenario with the three, same three lines twice, can you come up with other, there's a few other geometric scenarios of three lines, th configurations of three lines. Um, and how would that be reflected in the reduced augmented matrix? Um, what would be the reduced? augmented matrix of, of those other situations. You can think of a couple. Okay. Um, all right, I'll stop there.